Hey everybody, Ryan McCaffrey with IGN. I'm with Dan Stapleton. We are here to talk about Black Room, which is a new first-person shooter that is on the Kickstarter block, uh, courtesy of two guys, John Romero and Adrian Carmack. Dan, remind us why those names matter to first-person shooter fans. Because of Doom. Because like, Doom, of Doom, Doom and is, Quake. Yeah, the and, original Quake. But you know, Doom, Doom is what what it was you know mostly known for. It's software, yes. Yeah, and and that that is uh, you know that's kind of the brainchild of. of of these guys and a few others, including John Carmack, and but yeah, that, like that, that really put you know PC gaming on the map in a lot of ways, uh, and it's kind of the you know the father of, of shooters. You know, it's not the first shooter, but it's one of the first shooters, yeah. the, fir the first most popular one. Um, so Black Room now, they've because Romero went off and he's he's had a very interesting career making everything from mobile games to. Uh, chipping in on what Area 51 with Midway but back his, a while his, back. His most recent shooter. But, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but uh, we haven't. He hasn't really gone back to his sort of Doom roots since. So here we are. Uh, he's looking for 700 grand on Kickstarter, which he promises then will also uh, trigger some some you know investment, money, some yeah. VC as they say here in Silicon Valley. Uh, but. Dan, what do you think of the, the game concept? It's it's a basically a hollow deck gone horribly wrong. Right. So it's it's all of my least favorite Star Trek episodes <laughs> uh, made into a game, basically. But uh, it's it it's kind of a double-edged sword because it sounds like uh, it could be awesome because you could you can do literally anything with that idea. It's like yeah. you, you can you can have you know dragons and aliens and whatever. And they say and the, they've said they'll do that. Right. They'll do exactly that kind of variety. So you can do whatever you want. The, the only thing that makes me worry about that is that it. it Kind of makes this game uh, potentially have no kind of personality of its of its own. It's like it's a, a big mishmash of of everything, uh, and therefore it doesn't really look like anything. And interestingly, John Carmack's very infamous uh, Die Katana <laughs> sort of fought, did that exact thing, where yeah. it, it hopped all over to these different times and and eras. But at the same time, uh, the reason why I'm uh, very tempted to back this is because there just really there are very very few. Just fast, pure, I don't want to say arcadey, but just very fast, very light, uh, competitive first person shooters. Everything now is dark and it's gritty and it's slow and it's cover based, but outside of your Shadow Warrior reboots, it's the stuff that, that Romero is capable of making clearly is is kind of underserved now. Yeah, and it, it, it you know kind of remains to be seen whether whether you can kind of recapture that glory with with you know this this new game because you know he's he's tried and failed before. Um, so you know, I'm, I'm I have some cautious optimism, but uh, it's not something I'm I'm really ready to rush into. What about I mean, do you think we'll be able to get he'll get enough enough of a budget? He, hopefully, he's got enough because it's hard to make a, a high quality polished. First-person shooter without a decent budget, right? Especially, and they're talking about a 10-hour single-player campaign. That's yeah. that's no joke in terms of, of uh, development cost. So it, you know, it depends entirely on how big this you know mystery funding he has is, uh, and you know whether they'll be able to put together a big team. Like they're talking about a 2018 release date for this thing. So it can't be it can't be that ambitious. All right. So we're keeping a close eye on this one way or the other as the Kickstarter rolls on and beyond. For much more on this new one from. John Romero and Adrian Carmack. Keep it tuned right here to IGN.